All right, you snowplow junkies, it's time for the backup camera. Monitor, camera. All right, so plowing snow is, um, I would say, uh, stressful. Uh, there, there's just so much to look out for. And backing up when you're in a plow truck, especially if you're back dragging, like I do a lot of, um, you, you're watching for your plow. Where's your plow? How close is it to something that you could uh, uh, destroy, like somebody's car, which of course would cost thousands of dollars to repair or worse yet, somebody that's passing behind your truck. Um, now, there's no sure way to protect people from stupid. Uh, stupid is stupid and you just, you can't avoid that. But the last thing you wanna do, of course, is run over somebody. Um, so what I decided to do was to put this uh, backup camera in, in hopes to protect me from stupid. <laughs> Now, it might turn out that this is just a stupid idea, but uh, I figured uh, for the small amount of money it cost me to buy a little monitor, a little camera, just to try it out, to see if it's if it works, and I'll videotape the whole thing, let you see the end results. Uh, not the installation, because the installation is going to be so much different from your truck to my truck, you might want to do something different. Use your head, and you know, red is positive, black is negative, and uh, most of the time the blue wire is for the backup lights. Um, the idea here is to get that camera mounted as high as possible. So what I thought is I'd mount it, like I said, just between the back and the rack on that little piece of bar that's there. Uh, pointed down towards the back, but high enough up so that, well, I'm not too high up. See, that's all the fine adjustments. That'll come after. But um, the smaller cameras here, and I ordered, so there are going to be more videos on this because I ordered a couple of, uh, another type of camera. And uh, another system, a wireless system. I was kind of curious to see how that worked out. It wasn't too expensive. But apparently, <clears throat> this camera here gives... Did it say... I think it said 100, 170 degrees from this little camera. Now, that's 10 degrees away from 180. We all know 180 is like your peripheral vision almost. Or you, yeah, I guess so about that. So that's, you know, left and right, that's seeing a lot. And that would be excellent. <clears throat> Excuse me. Drop the wire here. So basically what I want to do is you want to catch everything from the side of the truck here and the side of the truck there. So as you're backing out, if there's a car coming, you're going to see it long before it gets behind you. If somebody's a pedestrian is walking again, you're going to see them before they get to the back of the truck. Um, I wasn't sure what I was going to do, so I ended up buying two cameras and two monitors, and I figured I would turn them, and I figured 170, 170, that's 340, it's almost a 360 degree uh, view of the truck from up high. And I thought, oh my god, maybe that's too much. Too much to look for. I'm already distracted enough, and looking at this camera might even be more distracting. So, anyways, let's see how it works out. We're going to start by installing the camera. We have to run the wires down into the uh, vehicle. Now, luckily, uh, the camera, this little camera, and they're all pretty standard, whether you get this type or another type. Uh, another type I'm looking at is a 120 degree, which probably be good enough. But they all come with these, these connectors here. Some cameras might come with the blue wire connector, which you would have to hook into um, your positive or your backup lights, excuse me. So I'm not sure if I really want this to work only when I back up or if I want it to work all the time, but you know, that'll come later. So I, those wires here are fairly short and they'll run down to probably the back of the bottom of the rack there. And then they come with a huge line of wire. Now this is your uh, video wire, this goes inside the vehicle. So there should be more than enough there to reach the front of the pickup or the dash anyways. And then a small power lead, we definitely have to add some wire to this probably. Uh, the monitor. 
Of course, uh, I know it looks all scratched up, but I, as you can see, a little red tab. I still have the plastic on there. Um, the monitor did come with. Get it out of here. Well, this is a headrest thing. Don't need that. One of these. Uh, this is probably a piece of crap, but um, to temporarily mount it, I might just use this. Uh, it did come with holes in the bottom, so you can decide if you want to permanently mount it. And then it kind of came with enough wire here that pretty much this wire here will be, uh, once I get it all untangled here, this wire here will be just to uh, pretty much hook it up under the dash somewhere. But you're going to need some wire ties to keep that out of the way. So there's, I think there's more than plenty enough uh, wire. All right, let me install it and then I'll show you what it looks like. Now, since this is going to be a temporary install with this camera, because I'm not sure I want to keep it, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take a little good, reliable, craptacular electrical tape. All right. Now, now this bracket, you can see that it's really flimsy, so you'll probably be able to bend it to get that perfect angle all right like i said it's just temporary install just to see how it performs hence that way if i don't like it we can always just take it off oh i tell you getting it through here was a pain lining it up oh but what you want to do is you definitely want to feed your wire in slowly and pull it and uh, be careful of the plastic because it's really sharp uh it kind of sprung a bit of a leak there so i'll have to go get some medical attention soon after we finish the job because you know what manly men do they don't go crying to mama when they spring a leak so this wire is really thin and probably can easily break within the shielding. So you want to be careful with it. All right, let's move on. All right, so during the installation, trying to take this off was easy because apparently we have gotten so cheap that these little tabs are like absolutely useless. Look at that. This is what these tabs, and these tabs are supposed to fit in here. It's like, are you serious? Really? Look at this. Look, look at that. What a piece of crap. Whatever happened to good workmanship? Oh yeah, that's right, it weighs too much. All right, so we're gonna add this to the rest of our wires. Okay, so I got the rough installation done. So I think I'm gonna change out cameras. I'm not sure about this camera. It seems a little, uh, well, then again, it could be the monitor. Okay, so I just got it roughed in with the uh, cable here and all that. And there's the backup camera. Let's see if we can actually take a look at that. Now you've got some reflection here, but that's from the, uh, huh. it's probably from the, uh, the light. Although this doesn't look like it's reflecting here. But that's what we got to see. It's not too bright. But I guess we could uh, go into the menu and brighten it up a bit, stuff like that. But that's all she wrote. That's with that camera. Now, now what I want to do is, of course, I got another camera coming. Um, it's 120 degree doll. So I'm not sure I'm going to stick with that because I want something as, as wide as possible. But then again, I don't know if this is 170 degree. But it does give me a better view when backing up than, of course, the backup camera that's in the, uh, the mirror. So basically, in the big picture, I got what I want. And at night, when backing up, of course, with the backup lights, they should light up everything. Anyways, let's take a look, see what it looks like at night. So that's on. I gotta get used to the buttons here. And that's off. Here's the one from 
the actual vehicle in the mirror. Wow, that really, that's really bright. Backup lights alone really work on that camera. Whoa. All right. Good deal. All right. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, at least you get an idea of what we're looking at. And you can see that it gives you a much bigger picture of what's happening in the back of you. And, hey, if it can uh, save me from hitting a car or getting into an accident or, God forbid, a, a pedestrian. Ugh. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Uh, we're going to try some different cameras uh, next week. I also have a wireless camera coming, which I'd like to try. Uh, positive, negative, positive, negative, bada boom, bada bing, it's finished. Now, I'm hoping that the signal will be good because they're well, relatively close, the back of the cab to the front of the cab. Uh, it, it should get a good enough signal to have a good enough video. And without all the wires running through the truck back and forth. So, since I already have positive running to the back, um, I've got my positive here. That might be uh, the choice to go with. Anyways, stay tuned. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Take care.